Hello and thank you for your interest in Market Setter. I am Toli Kuznets and today I will show you how to use the Market Setter Strategy Studio to run and develop strategies. We started Market Setter because we believe that it is the trading strategy that sets the trader apart and as such we work really hard to enable you to easily create and iterate and make changes to your trading strategies. Let's start with Photon, our integrated strategy development environment. Initially what you see when you open Photon is a basic order entry screen. However, if you switch to the Strategy Studio, we can start writing strategies. Photon supports Ruby strategies, but overall Market Setter supports both Ruby and Java strategies. That you can run Java strategies in a strategy agent, which is a standalone application that allows you to scale multiple strategies and run them on multiple machines at the same time. Today we'll just do a very basic hello world strategy. So let's create a new strategy, new Ruby strategy, call it hello world. Um, when the strategy is created, you um, get a basic skeleton of all of the function calls that you can override. There are quite a few more. We can touch on them later in subsequent videos, but from the very beginning, you can do something basic like um, do something when the strategy initializes or do something when the strategy stops. So in this case, let's say, let's print hello world when the strategy starts and let's print goodbye when the strategy ends. And Ruby is a standard language and you can buy lots of books on it uh, and it's actually very intuitive and it's a scripting language which means you can make changes very rapidly without having to recompile things and it's a lot better to do for strategy development. So we've written our very first basic strategy. Let's now register it with the Strategy Studio. So we'll call it Hello World. This name has to match um, the name of the class right here. Um, let's it's now showing up in the strategy list. So let's start it. Oh, before we start, the strategy is going to print stuff out, so we should find the right console. There are three kinds of consoles that Photon has. There's something called the main console, which is where all the output goes. There's the notifications console, which is if you want to make a, do a trade notifications, it goes there or it goes to the trade suggestion screen, or you could go to the sync. And um, we'll touch up on that in a subsequent videos, but right now let's just pick the main console start the strategy and there you have it it says hello world and when you stop the strategy it says goodbye so that was very interesting but let's make our first change let's say hello world this is totally save the strategy with control s uh, let's clear the output run it again and your strategy modification already got picked up and you know, you have it right here, so when we stop it, it's still working there. So that was a very basic example. Of course, this is not particularly exciting, nor will it really make you money. What really makes it a lot more interesting is ability to process market data. So let's look at an example of how to do that. And when you install Market Cetera, it goes into your program files folder, and one of the folders that you have in there is a set of sample scripts. So under strategy agent sample scripts, you have a couple of sample scripts. One of them was hello world, which is essentially what we just did. The other one is market data. So let's look at that one and open it in text editor. So in this market data script, this is the interesting part that lets you subscribe to market data where you have to create a market data request and then you request the market data for market, etc. So let's paste it here. One neat trick with uh, Photon is that you can obviously resize all of these to see things better, so let's do that. Um, you could also double click on it, which gives you the whole big window. Then if you double click on this again, it goes back to the previous list. So let's subscribe to some market data. What it expects is a list of symbols that are comma separated and the name of the market data provider. So let's just subscribe to Amazon and Google. And as far as market data provider, that depends on what market data you're subscribing to. This could be the market setter simulated feed, the bogus feed, or potentially it could be active feed, or if you write your own market data adapters, it could be any of the market data adapters you have. So to find out who we're connected to by default, we'll go to edit preferences, look at the market data section, and out of the box, you can select either the market setter feed that connects to the market setter servers, over the internet or the bogus feed. So let's keep it with market setter feed. Verify that here the market data indicator 
is green and it points to Market Center. So the name of this provider is Market Center. We make our, we create the request. So we want to subscribe to Amazon and Google. Since we're using the market data request object, we also need to import it into our strategy. So let's go back to the initial sample strategy. Find the line that imports the market data request, copy it. Go back into Photon, into the strategy, and paste it here with the, at the top of the class. So let's see what happens. Let's clear the screen, start, and it started up, except for there is no market data output. And why is that? Because we're not doing anything with market data when it comes in. When market data comes in, it goes to this on ask and on bid and on trade callback. So let's stop and make a few more changes. Let's do puts ask, put as bid, put as trade. Make the changes, run again. And there you have it, we have market data. So that concludes our very first brief introduction to market setter strategy development. In the subsequent videos, we'll do a lot more complicated things like selecting um, interesting fields out of market data using complex event processing or potentially doing some back testing, things like that. So see you guys next time. Thank you very much.